Hi and welcome to another episode of JAM where we're carrying on our look at the Beatitudes and it's with me John Amos not John Fisher. Now a few weeks back I talked about another Beatitude which was hunger and thirst for righteousness and the Beatitude that we're looking at today which is found in Matthew chapter 5 verse 10 also mentions righteousness again. And the Beatitude this week is, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now righteousness, you may recall, is about doing right for God. And if you're persecuted, you're injured or attacked. Now with this Beatitude, what Jesus is saying is that God knows that his followers, his uh, Christians, will be persecuted. And what Jesus is saying is, if you are persecuted for doing right, you will be blessed and inherit the kingdom of heaven, which means that you will get to have eternal life with God. Now, sometimes if we're attacked normally, it would be sensible to assume that you're doing something wrong. But with this verse, what it's saying is God's expecting Christians to face persecution, unfortunately. And therefore, sometimes when you're persecuted, it will be for doing something right. Now, as you know, Jesus had 12 disciples and they all faced dreadful persecution. They were beaten, jailed, insulted, run out of town sometimes. In fact, only one of the 12 disciples actually died of natural causes. And in fact, you may not know this, but Peter was also crucified. But not only was he also crucified like Jesus, he was crucified upside down because he didn't think he was fit to be crucified in the same way as Jesus was. Now, as I've mentioned, sometimes we may feel slightly persecuted or, or maybe to a lesser extent ridiculed for being a Christian. However, compared to what goes on in other countries in the world, what we can go through can sometimes be considered quite minor. In countries like India, China and North Korea, Christians are regularly uh, being attacked for being a Christian and sometimes even imprisoned. Now there is no saying um, that the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. And martyrs are people that end up dying because they're a Christian. There's been many, many, many thousands of them over the centuries, some quite famous. And many became saints. Now, whenever a Christian's blood is shed, the blood will fall to the ground. And that is where the church starts to grow, on the ground. God claims the ground where the blood flows for himself and for his servants. And this, obviously, is why the church in those countries I mentioned, China, North Korea and India, the church is growing at quite a fast rate. So it's important to think about Christians that are in all these different countries around the world, as some will, could be having a really hard time. But also, I know that some of you will face being teased or even persecuted um, at school for being a Christian or for going to church. And that's just, it's, as sadly, is to be expected. It's part of growing up. But I pray that you will um, not suffer too much. I, I pray for you that you'll have patience in uh, dealing with anybody that tries to persecute you for your Christian faith. And also I pray that you will remember the other Christians around the world that are facing really hard times. And I pray for you for the upcoming week. And I pray and hope that uh, you'll continue to think of other Christians throughout the world. So that's it for this week's Beatitude. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.